Okay, so today is March the 26th. We are, well, I don't want to say celebrating, but we're commemorating the one month anniversary since Trayvon Martin was killed down in Sanford, Florida. Now, here's what's going on with this deal now. As of today, there's big rallies being planned all over the country. There's rallies in Florida, there's rallies here in Atlanta, there's rallies all over the country in support of the family of Trayvon Martin. Now, what's happening in the case is very interesting because right now, the flip is beginning to happen. In other words, they're about to flip this thing and make Trayvon out to be the aggressor. There's a big story in the LA Times today that Trayvon Martin may have been the aggressor. Stories are coming out today that, oh, well, he was suspended from school at the time that this incident happened. Stories are coming out today that uh, his school is saying that they may have found some small bags that were empty but that at one time had contained weed. Really? What the hell does that have to do with the fact that the boy was killed by a person who actively pursued him? And speaking of the person who actively pursued him, here's some questions that are not being asked. How is it possible that George Zimmerman is the victim in a situation where he left his vehicle to pursue a person? So you went to pursue a person and now you're the victim somehow because they're saying that he had a broken nose and injuries to the back of his head. Okay, so where are the hospital records? And the police are saying that they questioned George Zimmerman for a couple of hours after the fact. If that's the case, how would you question for two hours and you got a broken nose and injuries to the back of your head? It doesn't add up. In other words, they're trying to flip this thing so as to make Trayvon Martin out to be the aggressor and George Zimmerman to be the victim. Now, here's the other, here's the other aspect of this thing that came out today. There was a special prosecutor that, was, uh, that has been assigned to take over this case a special prosecutor from the state of Florida, a state attorney. Now this person, this woman here, is documented as being the toughest prosecutor against young black males in the country. Not in that county, not in that state, but in the United States of America, documented on record as being the toughest on young black males. So now how you think this thing is gonna go from that point on? What I'm saying is, I was gonna take my family to Florida for spring break next week. They wanna to go to SeaWorld. Well, guess what, that ain't happening. I'm boycotting the state of Florida. I'm not spending a dime in the state of Florida. I would advise you to maybe do the same thing. Get on your Twitter, get on your Facebook, get on whatever social media that you're on and keep this thing alive. Keep this thing alive because they're about to flip it. And once they flip it and they make Trayvon into being the, uh, the aggressor as opposed to the victim, then this thing's gonna go in a whole different direction. Basically, the state of Florida is saying that Trayvon Martin, to his parents, to all his supporters, to all his relatives, to everybody who loved this kid, he's dead, he's gone, get over it, and go away. I don't know about you, but I can't do that. I'm going to keep this thing alive. Special K. Peace.